Hey guys, Scott here. Today I want to talk about DBD's Halloween event for 2023. And I guess it's less about the event itself and more about how I find it to be a pretty promising thing in terms of game variety. So the reason that this is exciting to me when I was watching it on the dev stream is it's because it's different. It's something new and different. It's like an actual, even though it's very tiny, it's a little taste of what a new gameplay element could be. I feel like the last time we had a change like that was like four or five years ago with the whole endgame collapse. It's been a very, very long time since we've had a new base game thing. But the mechanic mechanics, the mechanics inside the actual like void realm that you go to are interesting. It's almost like a small pocket universe of a different game of DBD where a lot of the standard rules of the game don't actually apply. There's no like Teradiuses or red lights. It's almost like a, a small controlled arena. And when I was watching this, I didn't really care about the event, but I cared about the promise of possibly introducing things like this. Because I think, without a doubt, DBD has been slowing down. You can just look at the numbers on Steam. Even with Alien, that didn't really boost up the numbers very much. It's not really stopping, but it's not growing anymore. Like, the growth has stopped, and it's just sort of just teetering on neutral now. And I think the main thing that the game needs in order to start going back up is different gameplay options. That is... There's only so many killers you can design to run around a piece of wood. I don't care how creative you are. They're limited by the scope of the game itself. And so I think players that have been playing for a while have been looking for something different. And that's why when I saw this, I was like very excited because it just straight up looked like something different, something new to the game with different rules. And even though it only lasts like 10 seconds, it was a glimpse into what could be. So they did hint that they were working on other game modes uh, in the FAQ. It was a standard behavior answer. We're aware of the issue and we're working on it, but we don't have a concrete details as of right now. But this to me seems to be kind of like a hint at that, a little sub realm within the game that could be used for God knows what. I mean, there, there, there could so many possible options. Even just the realm itself is almost like its own hide and seek mode or like an arena mode or a 1v1 mode. Or There's just something interesting there that I think they have just began to tickle the balls of. And that's really the thing that I'm excited about. Um, I want to see them expand upon things like that even more. I want them to go more into the whole differing game modes thing. And I think the whole Haunted by Daylight thing that they've got going on now is a possible peek into what we've got going on there. So I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Um, I'm just about to start playing the event now for uh, myself. It was definitely hard to see exactly what to do during the uh, test games, but I think I've got a pretty good grasp of now. Again, the event is still pretty simple, but... It's interesting. It's an interesting starting point that could grow into something um, finally different for the actual game. And that, I think, is what would bring a lot of veteran players who have gotten bored with the game back. And it would keep people uh, entranced with the game for a lot longer. So that's it. Curious to hear what you guys think about the actual event itself. And whether or not it could be a sign of things to come that could be actually be really interesting. So that's it. Thanks for watching.